Oh, thanks for letting me join you on uh, Good Times with Vito Brada. Yes. Oh, Vito, where'd you go? We miss you. Come back. So, I'm going to show you a riff and a lick. Uh, in fact, I'm going to show you several licks because the way Vito works, um, he's like a composer. His solos and his, his rhythm stuff is very uh, thought out. So what's really cool about uh, these licks I'm going to show you is they're all based on a theme that he repeats, but he changes it up entirely within that theme. The song is Let's Get Crazy. Uh, it's that shredder boogie that every amazing guitar player was putting out around like 1988. And it always involves open strings and pull-offs. <laughs> Uh, but his goes like this. I think it's a really cool riff and, and pretty interesting uh, harmonically also. He, he added some cool notes in there. So easy to play, which is also quite nice. Open A string. And you're going to be ham or picking and pulling off on the third fret on that A string. And then you'll keep your hand kind of in this position because that's all the notes you need to get to. So on that D string, that fourth string, you'll be attacking the fifth fret and pulling off, and the first fret and pulling off. The pattern goes. They're all just a pick and pull off. I like the extra little mute in there. And when you come down, because you're trying to add that swing, and patterns like ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk, you could add a little bit of the fleshy part of your thumb, which will give you that little pick attack, uh, that little harmonic going on. And then the fill coming out of it. He does several fills, but uh, this is the easiest one. Uh, that's why I picked it. And again, it starts with that open A and then the third fret pull off. Then you go to the fifth fret. And you're just climbing. Sixth fret. Seventh fret. And you finish off on the D string, coming back to an A. Uh, so you're starting on the fifth fret. Fifth fret to the seventh fret. And then he descends with uh, little bits of a seventh chord. A little quicker through that. Fun and easy. So he has some turnaround fills that are amongst his best work. Ooh. Uh, so the pattern of the turnaround uh, is, and it's usually, well, it's always over this E. It's always a ba da da ba da da ba It's like a nice little triplety. And instead of just always doing the same one, he mixes it up. The first one I'll show you is a. So it's starting with the seventh chord. It's this voicing for, on the E. And then he gives you a nice little, uh, this is like a Gary Moore style lick, maybe even Jimmy Page style lick, but Gary Moore is the one that turned it up to like super speed and added little harmonics to it. Uh, John Sykes does this a lot too, and he just blows through them so fast. Uh, really easy. You just need a little finger strength to do it. You have, uh, starting on the G string, the, the third string, fourth fret, second fret, and open string. You're just going to be pulling off. So you do that twice. Go to the next string, the D, four, two, zero. And then the A string, four, two, zero. Straight down. And then you just hit the low E to make sure he knows you're spelling out a E chord. But at speed, it's like... Oh, yeah. 
doesn't really matter what the notes are as long as it's that that rhythm that he set up. But da 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 da. The next version of it is uh, more harmonics, but this is a total Eddie thing. Uh, we're still we're on that G string four two zero, just repeating. You're gonna use the fleshy part of your hand or your palm uh, or back of your hand or your tongue, whatever whoever you're trying to be cool like, and you barely lightly touch the string, barely, and you'll just create this harmonic, and it creates a cascade of harmonic. Uh, and he does the same mo rhythmic motif, cascading these harmonics. I can't do it quite as well. It helps when you have a drummer also uh, accenting. Uh, it's super fun, and it's good to have in your arsenal if you ever just need to be like... You know, you could throw in all kinds of goodies. This last lick is one of my personal favorites from Vito. It's just good old fashioned shredding, uh, scalar shredding, and it goes like this. So, uh, I don't know if I'm quite up to speed. I'm kind of pushing my limits there. Um, in fact, I can only do it at that speed if I start with an upstroke. So I'm still working on that. Uh, it's a great lick to practice because it's a really good uh, picking exercise and uh, you'll learn the E major scale in here. So what this starts off on is on the highest of the E strings, 16, 14, 12, landing on that E. That's the E major uh, shape. It's really nice because it follows this shape of two whole steps uh, quite a bit. So you just have the same sort of finger spacing. It starts at 16, 14, 12. Go to the next string. 16, 14, 12. And then you're going to shift positions to 14, 12, 10. Going to the next string, the G string, and you're going 13, 11, 9. So that is E major. So again, here's the pattern. We're going down this E major. Then back to the B string, uh, 14, 12, 10, 13, 11, 9. You're going to repeat that, 13, 11, 9. Going to the next string, staying in the same shape, 13, 11, 9. Then you're going back to the G string, 13, 11, 9. Down one string, 13, 11, 9. And the final bit is on the D string, 13, 11, 9. Going down to the A string, 12, 11, 9. And ending on the 12th fret. So the way Vito plays it, if you're starting with a downstroke, you're going to land with a downstroke knee at the bottom. Something that shoots it up. Uh, but I can do that because I'm an upstroker. Hmm. A couple things to think about when you're working this lick is grouping the sixes. So you're going and kind of making them a group. And you could think of them as a group, which is going to take some pressure off of your brain rather than thinking of six notes. You're just thinking of one group. It's a lot easier to grasp it if you're feeling overwhelmed by the number of notes. The other thing is as much as you can, uh, try and just economize how much you're moving, not giant finger movements. Although there's some tricky shifts in there. It's like jumping strings and shifting up one position is a little tricky sometimes, but uh, take it slow. There you go, super fun. That'll wear you out if you just <laughs> constantly are doing that. And you could try going up too, which is a very cool uh, pattern. And you could sneak it into your own solos. So uh, awesome, super glad to be here and uh, playing through a little ADA MP1.
nice into my two notes cab M. No power amp because that has a power amp sim. Super cool. There you go. Thanks.